Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and this uh, video is going to be a gun talk video. So, here's what we got today. Training, 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 training. Um, I'm, I'm big on training, especially when you train with the gear that you're going to be using. Uh, yes, you can, you know, use other training tools and, and things like that, but there's nothing better than when you train with the actual equipment that you're going to use. So, <coughs> excuse me. So, what I'm talking about today is training with your your rifle, with your setup. Why is that very, why is that important? First of all, um whether you're military or law enforcement. You know, when 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 we're training uh clearing rooms, clearing houses, things of that nature, uh, you want to make sure that you're training with the gear that you're going to actually have so that way your training can carry over into the real, you know, real thing. Uh, same with being in the military. When you're training, you want to train with your full kit, your belt, as well as the rifles and how you have them set up. So that way when you're training or when you're actually doing the real thing, the, the training will carry over. So, today we're talking about training with your rifles. So, one of the reasons that that is very important, first thing first, magazine out, clear gun. Okay, this is my setup. I've shown you guys this. I'm sure y'all have noticed a few things missing off of this because I'm about to redo this whole uh, setup, basically. But... The reason this is so important is because what if you are training with a different setup than what you have? So, uh, what I'm going to do is, okay, now I have just taken the upper receiver off of my rifle, okay, I'm trying to move the sling around here for a second. Now, so, what I have done is I have taken the upper receiver off of my rifle and I have basically turned this into like a whole uh, new setup is what I'm about to do. Okay, and before y'all, some of y'all start hollering about, oh my gosh, he's, he's changing his gun. This is a perfectly legal thing to do. So, like I said, here's my upper receiver this is the one that came with this gun and you know the stuff that I put on there I now have a new upper receiver 16 inch barrel uh, this is a AR stoner uh, upper receiver and what I'm gonna do now is Attach that upper receiver to the gun. Now, this is still a 5.56 rifle. The only thing I've changed is the upper receiver, and that is it. Now, to train with this, I have a, a laser sight on here. Don't know if you guys can see. Well, hang on. There, green laser, uh, as well as my Magpul flip up sights. Okay, so how do I want to train with this to get used to these sites? Well, I have here a new training aid. It is the Mantis Blackbeard. This thing is awesome. I've put it in my rifle uh, earlier today, kind of playing with it. It is awesome. So uh, give me a second and I'll show you guys how to uh, install this on your rifle. Okay, hopefully you guys can see this. Um, I've got my rifle laid out here on my table. Here's what you do. First thing you want to do is remove your magazine, which I've already done, but I'm going to show you guys here again. Magazine is removed. I'm going to set that over to the side. Okay. Open up the chamber here to, you know, double check. You never can be too safe. See? Gun is empty. With the bolt forward, do not lock your bolt to the rear, but with the bolt forward, 
uh, just remove push out this back pin here pull it out that way you can just swivel it down like that there's no need to take this whole thing apart okay this is what you get in the mantis blackbeard you have your instruction guide uh, card right here that shows you how to you know put it together your laser alignment and such uh, you can download the app if you buy the targets you can download this app so that way when you're training you see where your shot placements is going and with the either your iPhone or Android phone or whatever you'll be able to actually track that with your phone so that way you can you're pretty much being your own um, critiquer on how you're shooting to get better but basically the mantis system is you have this piece here this is what replaces your bolt carrier group as you can see this uh, is the imitation uh, charging handle your bolt carrier group this is also your laser uh, you have a little switch right here to where you can have the consistently own or just whenever you pull the trigger and then here is your adjustments for your laser uh, one second here so this top one is for your elevation and then this one is for your windage so that's how you adjust that so your sights are lined up and all you're basically doing well hang on and then you have the battery pack uh, which also acts as your uh, your magazine and to charge it it does come with a charging cord mine is in the house already you plug it in right there it's a micro USB plug it in right there get you a good charge okay now what you do is you just take the bolt carrier group and your charging handle out just like you would whenever you're getting ready to do uh, normal maintenance you then drop in your laser and once it's in there you're not going to hear a click or anything but once it's in it's in and then you're just going to close up your uh, your uh, your upper and lower receiver you're going to connect those together and then that's it that's the whole installation and now uh, let me jump over here and run you guys through a few things okay guys now I've got my uh, gun back on me got the sling on tighten this up a little bit okay now once you take your battery pack you're going to insert this just like you would a um, a regular AR mag the best way to remember which way this goes your USB port is going to be on your left so on the side where your uh, your magazine releases is the side you want to put that when you load it in you're gonna hear something it, it kind of cycles through to let you know that your battery pack and the prongs on the bolt carrier group has connected and everything is functioning so it's basically like it's it does its own function check once you do that you're good to go whatever drills you can come up with in your mind skies is the limit so for example everybody loves to practice the up drills where you're in your shooting stance I'm out in the shop as you can see I'm out here by myself so nobody's in danger you know whichever way I point the gun just throw that out there now the up drills where you are at the low ready you pop up and you shoot now before if you were doing that with a rifle each time you have to rack the charging handle to reset the trigger well with the mantis you don't have to do that okay now you take your grip you're gonna try some you're gonna practice some up drills you know working on your safety so you can come up safety off fire you'll get a click trigger will reset and then also I'm gonna shoot back here on the door hopefully you guys can see I don't know if you guys are seeing that but there is a green laser you can see that flashing in the barrel there there is a green laser that flash uh, I believe you can get different colors they have a green laser red laser and the IR laser uh, that way you can see where you're hitting that um, 
this is going to be awesome because, like I said, now for me, if I'm standing here, I've got a wall right here. It's actually like a little window, but I can practice those drills from right here up, fire. And if I had a target, I would be able to see uh, where my shot placements are at. This is also good for working that trigger, you know, firing two shots. If you have a timer, you can come up and practice that double tap. Also practice transitioning from target to target. So you can get a lot of dry firing, a lot of repetitions in without going to the range. Uh, and then you can carry that over once you do get on the range and actually fire live fire. This don't give you any kind of recoil feel. Most uh, AR-15s don't have a lot of recoil anyway. So you don't get a lot of recoil out of this system uh, like the Cool Fire Trainer. But however, you're still getting lots and lots of repetitions in on trigger manipulation. Also uh, working at safety. I am trying to get better at the uh, compressions, meaning high compress where you're kind of pulling the buttstock over your shoulder and then as you engage a target you're going to punch out and seat that buttstock into your shoulder and as you're doing that you want to engage your safety so you can engage the threat because um, I've watched a video from a guy by the name of Two Lamb his channel is called Ronin Tactics and he talks about when you're moving in a room and you've got your you know your team buddies with you you don't want to accidentally shoot a team person you know you don't want to shoot somebody on your team you don't want no blue on blue so you have to learn how to work that safety so whether you're coming from a low compress and punching out and engaging or you're coming from a high compress and punching out you want to make sure that you're indexing your finger as well as manipulating your safety so that way everybody on the team is safe. Also, if you go into a room and uh, you have a non-combatant in there, you don't want to go in there, finger on the trigger, and then you go in and start shooting, and then it's like, oh, crap, that was non-combatant. You're, you're screwed at that point. So you want to practice on indexing that finger, and then as you enter a room, you come up, disengage the uh, safety, in case there is a threat in that room, but now your finger is indexed. So if it's a non-combatant, then safety that weapon, come back down. Or come back to the high compress. Whichever one you're doing. But uh, again, with the Mantis, this thing is awesome. Like I said, you charge it, put it in. It's real easy to put in there. And again, you get to use your equipment. This is a setup I'm still building on. So once I have this set up how I want it, I will probably be running this set up more. But, I mean, you, you want to make sure that you have good training and good repetitions with your setups. I can't think of anything better than the Mantis Blackbeard. I would recommend this to any law enforcement agency. I know a lot of the military already use this. So... Good product. I'm, I'm extremely happy with it. Um, I'm going to have to give these people a call and just let them know that, hey, man, I, I just bought your stuff, and I'm super happy. Uh, I might have to talk to them about uh, some partnership with the channel. If they, will, if they will have me as a partner, I would love to promote this because this is a lot of fun. Um, I had my nephew over here earlier, and we ran this even on his uh, 300 Blackout, and flawless. So, I mean, you can get lots of training with your own equipment. Especially when you got those who aren't real good with rifles. This would be great for them to get a lot of trigger time without actually putting rounds downrange. Also, when you're practicing going through the house, I'm going to move my camera here, guys. So, Okay, so if I start back here in the shop, you guys can see me. So now you can practice on moving and firing. Great way to get a lot of training in inside the house or in the shop. And again, 
not wasting a lot of ammo. Again, I'm going to fire at a target I have here on the wall. Getting lots of feedback. So, Blackbeard uh, from Mantis, excellent product. I'm super happy that I got this. Uh, I'm definitely going to show this to the guys that I work with. And, I mean, it's also a good way to educate and teach children how to be safe. That way, again, before you get them on the range firing live ammo, you can get them on a practice range firing a green laser or a red laser at some targets. That way they can get comfortable pulling the trigger without the loud bang and the recoil that will scare them and you know deter most people from learning how to shoot guns. So uh, again I highly recommend getting the Mantis Blackbeard for your rifle setups. I also encourage you to get the uh, Cool Fire Trainer for your pistols. Training is the best way to be safe on the range and off of the range. You have to train. Train safely. Um, you know, just make sure you're getting all your training in. And sometimes training doesn't necessarily mean always being on the range. Sometimes training could be sitting down reviewing video footage of very good tactics as well as the bad tactics. So then that way you know what not to do. So... Train, 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 whether you're on the range, you're on the, uh, you know, sitting down watching video footage on your computer, always train, any and everything can be trainable, so let's get out there and get some training in people. If you notice, I'm saying training a lot because training equals safety, good training, good training equals safety, so um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will have more videos using this Blackbeard and the Cool Fire Trainer. So guys, be looking out for that. If you haven't already, uh, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you click the bell so you get notified every time I do my videos. If you like the video, please smash that thumbs up button. Leave comments down below. I will leave a link down below for you to get your very own uh, Mantis Blackbeard as well as the other Mantis products that are out there. And I'll see you guys. Next time on the range or out in the real world, let's all be safe. Hope everybody have a happy Thanksgiving and uh, see you guys soon.